Commentaries of Singapore. While it may seem that Singapore is a concrete jungle, nearly half of the country is actually covered in greenery. New trees are constantly being planted as we recognize the immense benefits that they provide us in our daily lives. Let's take a look at some of the common trees in Singapore. The Tembusu tree. See that tree on your $5 note? That's a Tembusu tree. It can be identified by its deeply fissured bark, which makes it look like it has been clawed by a wild animal. Aptly named Certophyllum fragrance, the Tembusu has creamy white flowers which give off a strong fragrance in the evening. So if you smell something sweet on your way home, it could very well come from the Tembusu tree. The Sea Almond The Sea Almond can be recognised by its distinctive pagoda shape. With large leaves that turn yellow, orange and red when they are about to shed, this tree gives the appearance of autumn. What's more, these leaves have even more special features. They have antibacterial properties as well as a calming effect and are used in aquariums to promote the health of fish. The Sea Apple This tree is widely grown due to its very special property. It is nature's very own firefighter. As it does not burn easily, it was used extensively to form fire breaks at a time when Singapore's roads were bordered by highly flammable lalang wasteland. The Saga Tree this tree has a large spreading crown that makes it suitable for providing shade. Check out the little red seeds that drop from its pods. Do you remember collecting these seeds as a child? In the past, these small red seeds were also used as weight measures for gold and silver in other parts of the world. The Rain Tree The rain tree has leaves which fold up at dusk and before rainy weather, giving it its name. When it blooms, the crown of the tree is covered in clusters of pink white flowers, which look like upturned brushes. This tree can be identified by its white spreading umbrella shaped crown, which provides shade along the roadside. So we have this tree to thank for sheltering us from the sun. So now that you have seen 5 of Singapore's common trees, do try to spot them on your way to school. You may also wonder, what other significant roles do trees play in our lives? Well, did you know that many streets in Singapore are actually named after trees? Katong got its name from the Katong tree that was used to produce hard timber for construction. Kranji Road got its name from the Karanji tree, which was once found in abundance in Singapore. And the list goes on. Sambawang from the Sambawang tree, Tampanese from the Tampanese tree, Kampong Glam from the Galam tree, and many more. The trees we see around us can be used in our lives too. The stem of the tall stilt mangrove rhizophora can be processed into charcoal. Leaves of the simple eye can be used to wrap food such as tempeh. And seed fibers from the kapok tree can be used as stuffing for pillows and mattresses. As you can see, we depend on trees for many different things. So the next time you walk around the roads, do stop and take a look at the trees around you. There may be more to them than meets the eye.